Hi there! In this video I'm going to show how to make a DVD with uh, free videos on it, a menu to select between the videos and a button on the menu to play all three videos at once. I started DVD styler here, it looks like this and uh, it's with the current version 2.9.6 I'll start by uh, making a new project um, and it shows me my default setting for project that would be a PAL it would be an aspect of site 16 to 9 and the audio would be AC3 I'll OK that and for this project I could use a template so I'll OK the default template this gives, gives me two menu uh, over here, the first menu is like this, there's a button to play all titles and there's a button to go to my second menu which looks like this now I need to get uh, three videos into it and I've got some videos over here and I simply start by highlighting three here dragging them down there and uh, since my default setting is PAL but the videos actually NTSC I'm offered to change my project setting to NTSC I OK that and you'll see now the buttons up here automatically is filled with uh, images from my videos I'm kind of a simple guy so I actually only need uh, one menu for this so I'll start by deleting this one and I'm left with only one menu I'll highlight the buttons I don't need by holding down the control key and click on the buttons and then I hit the delete button so they go away then I hit the control A to select all and I want to drag those down here at the bottom now these buttons are actually video buttons if I double click on them I get uh, the property sheets for it and uh, it has a contents of video if I double click those three, but three dots uh, you'll see the duration for the video is set to zero seconds uh, which means it's actually a still so I could change the du duration to say 10 seconds here and I could do the similar and I could do similar for the other two buttons uh, give them a duration of 10 seconds this and I OK that now I wanted a button to play all three titles at once so I select one button I could use this one uh, if I double click on it to get its property sheet uh, the action is to jump to title one and over here there is a small checkbox to play all titles if I check that it will start by playing the title I've chosen over here and then the remaining in the title set and should I have more than one title set I could also select to play all, all title sets I OK that now I just right click that in order to align the button I could uh, do like this to get it into the center I want to customize my menu here so I double click on the menu and as for background uh, again I have three dots over here I could double click and I actually want a video as background I have here and I also want my menu to loop so when the background video has finished playing it starts over again and I OK that 
the next thing is if I double click this button it has a property sheet and it's uh, button number four uh, the buttons are numbered this would be one two three and number four what I also like to do is to double click my menu because I actually want this button to be highlighted when I enter the the menu and uh, the value of the buttons to be highlighted is kept in the system uh, register. One way of uh, accessing this in uh, DVD styler is merely to write button. The value of the button I want highlighted should be 1024 times the button number, in my case 4, and I end by a semicolon and I OK that. So, I'm ready to uh, make my DVD. First time around I'll make an ISO image so I can test it before I could burn it with image burner or whatever burner software I've got. I start this and the cr generation of my ISO was successful so I close this window. I have my created ISO image over here and uh, I'm ready to test it so I could double click on it and uh, you notice the highlighted button is my button 4 as intended and uh, I could start choosing to play one of the single title or I could play, oh I should probably have called that play all but uh, I could play all titles like this so that's about it. Bye.